I command thee, kneel, for I am the lord of all that is golden. Even if I don't really have any gold at the end of the day. Either way, Godric the Grafted is here, everyone. And he looks to be the last of the Elden Ring invaders for the time being at that. Brought to us by the one and only Sumi once again. It is time to graft some crafts that are gonna slap. Literally. For you see, Godric will be able to graft unique arms from his dead foes that will all be pretty darn useful, versatile, and even usable by all other characters in this game. However, they're also going to come with a terrible price. Equipping and unequipping any graft is going to cost 20 to 30 health each and every time, no matter who you are playing. So regardless of whether or not their durabilities are infinite, the choice of quote-unquote wearing them matters greatly. As yes, it is not just when you switch between graft's mind. Anytime you remove an arm, it's going to hurt, and probably hurt pretty bad. So be prepared to easily kill yourself when learning this character. But hey, here's an early sneak peek at Godric's ghost at least. The guy likes arms, I guess. But what exactly will each of these new arms be doing for you, Beard? Well, to no one's surprise, the tentacle craft here is probably one of my favorites, and at the cost of a tentacle spot and three monster meats, it's gonna get us wet. All of us wets. All grafts are considered weapons mind, so on top of making us and what they hit more and more wet, tentacle grafts are going to deal 51 damage per slap, folks. Now, our wetness levels can only reach a total of 36. However, that is still enough to soak our inventory's mind, meaning the thing is going to come with an indirect sanity penalty, too. But the prospect of making all mobs, including bosses wet, is just too good to pass up. So slap them well. And while we're on the topic of slippery stuff, we best mention the rock jaw graph too. Costing four big fish, stuff that isn't the easiest to get in mass beyond rock jaw kills at the end of the day, and some monster meat. The thing is a weapon and an armor all in one. Offering 55 damage a hit if you wish, plus a respectable 70% armor protection mind, do not ignore the 30% wetness resistance that the fishy head is going to have in store as well. All in all, not bad. Although it should probably lose its armor per hit and require a bit of quote-unquote refueling here and there to help balance things out. As heck, you've already got something just like it with the clockwork craft, so the thought of balance in general is there. Being the only craft that Godric, the lord of all things golden, actually needs gold for, it will also set you back plenty of gears as you can see, so be prepared. Even more so once you start using it too, so definitely be prepared. For you see, with each of its 5 uses, the Clockwork Graft is going to deplete its damage down to 50 per hit from the whopping 350 from its initial swing. Now one can choose to continue using it once its durability is gone, mind, but you can just give it a gear to get it right back to destroying most things in a single hit. You do you for sure. But you gotta mind that gear usage. Moving on here to the worm graft that is not gonna shock anyone with what it's about to do, as it costs monster meat, light bulbs, and glow berries. You know, things that flip and glow. But craft the thing and enjoy 55 damage per hit if used as a weapon, or go the utility route by having it be your light in the darkness. Remember now though, every time you put it on and take it off, you're gonna be losing a big chunk of health. So so perhaps it's actually not the best thing in the world. And neither is this next guy in my opinion, although it could just be a fun reference that I myself am not getting. But Godric can graft a birch nut arm with some birch nuts and lemon logs that will allow him to plant birch nut saplings at the additional cost of 5 hunger each time. The thing is, however, hunger doesn't actually prevent the planting of any more saplings once it's fully gone, so yeah. Oh, it is also the only graph that deals less than 50 damage per hit, and yes, that is actually going to be quite important in a minute here. And while I did just technically lie, to be fair to me, this is an honorable, unimplemented mention. The Hound Graft. 
This thing doesn't appear to be available to create at the moment, although it is still in the game and the code of Godric here. But it is also the only craft with actual durability, and I think that was kind of the point. The thing only deals 30 damage, so I imagine this was going to be a low tier of these crafts at the end of the day, just to give us an introduction to what all these arms are. But who knows, maybe we'll see more mobs on our hands down the line. But yes, for now though, let us actually finish talking Godric as he is. The guy doesn't like being shown up. So if the damage he is taking is lower than the damage of his currently equipped weapon and or graft, he will actually gain 5 sanity per hit as a show off. But if it's higher however, expect to lose 10 sanity per hit instead. Not great, but still manageable for sure. Good luck. But what's this? Beardo forgot to talk about the basic stats until editing this video. Yes, yes he did. But Godric invades this new world of his at 155 hunger, 125 sanity, and 155 health respectively, which is a welcome nerf from his original 6080 health, let me tell ya. All that said though, if them stats and practically anything you've seen today is not exactly sitting right with you, you could always just configure it to your liking. Heck, you can even change crap that we didn't even talk about, like hunger rates, damage levels, you name it. And speaking of talking, yes, I also forgot about his voice up until late in the editing, so here's a final listen for ya. And there you have it, everyone. Godric the Grafted for Don't Starve Together. He's a handsy son of a gun, that's for sure. And he is also the final Elden Ring character for the foreseeable future. But thanks again, Sumi, for all of your incredible work on all of these recent characters back to back to back, as it's been great fun to discover them all, and I cannot wait to see what you do next. Thanks for watching, folks. Well, wishes to all. Neil, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.